What's up everyone, this is Kenny here from Probably Stories and today I'm at Society Society, I don't know how to pronounce it but let's go! <laughs> Architecture also nothing that is stand out lah. Typical Chinaman design, practical and safe cost. So this is the behind ah, the building. You can see very simple ni architecture, but however, don't let the looks fool you lah. You can see the quality inside of the items that they give. So outside society, you have like uh, common man coffee roasters, the retail component, and you can see the side here. I go to the side. This will lead you to the retail component. Eh? Let me walk. I also want to walk to a dinner. So you can see how convenient this place is. Eh? The moment you come down, there's a clinic there. There's a restaurants everywhere. <laughs> Basically, you will see a lot of Korean restaurants because a lot of Korean and Japanese actually they do stay here. And this is the retail lot. Not yet open yet. And if you are a resident, you can actually go up from here. Okay, and if you rent out your place, you have to pass the RFID to the your tenant, lah. so you can go up from here. Okay, so this is the ramp. Go up and this, and you come direct from uh, KL or BJ, right? This is the main road. Society is located on your right. Okay, so the moment you come in here, that is the two hundred fifty. 250 per hour, 250 per hour public parking. So this public parking, you have to go in the basement. Once you go in the basement, right, they have retail sense, retail component here. This retail component is not for sale. They have a coffee man roasters here. No owners, you got 10% discount. So you come in here, and this is not a parking. Eh? Resident parking is behind, I'll show you later. So you come in, and this is the exit. You want to drop off or pick up your friend. So let's go. Thank you, Dave. So this is the lobby. That is where you check in. Okay, if you are in an Airbnb, but if you are staying here, no problem. So it's a simple lobby, nothing much. Uh, that is the show unit, the show room. You can go and buy. So come here. You will reach the car park, this one, go down the basement. Uh. And this is the lobby car park, copy car park for, the, for your unit, okay? So let's go up. So this is a mail room, let's go in and have a look. What? Wait, where the heck is the light? Uh? Why you got no light? Man? Okay, I don't, I don't see a switch anywhere, but this is how the mail room looks like. Okay. And you'll be given two keys to actually access the mail room. And this, this space here, this space here, I'm, I'm putting my hand here, is for parcels. Okay? So make sure your parcel don't go missing. It's a good initiative, and you can also put the parcels here. Better than some places where it's just a rack. This one is behind a closed door. Of course, I think it's, if it's food, then it's not practical. It's going to smell this whole place like icon. Okay, let's go. So everything is a no touch of seat here. Huh? Okay. This is the parking rate for the public parking. Huh? First hour 250, so subsequent 250. So grace period is 15 minutes. You scan and pay. It's a parking guide. Bye, Ken. Okay, we have reached level 21. Okay, when you reach the lift, right, there is two fire exits. Huh? One is here, it's right beside the lift. Okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five lift with one fire escape lift. Huh? Let's go. One floor, there's uh, 14 units per floor. So this is how it looks like corridor and 
this is the corridor. Okay. So there's a second fire exit. Huh? Second fire exit is basically beside this unit. Let me show you here. So there's a fire exit here. More fire exit. So there's two fire exits for the lift. Uh, for the unit. So make sure you tell your tenants. Huh? Okay, yeah, this one the, but just for now, but after a month or two you will start working this. So you can only enter from outside to go in, but once you go out you cannot go in. Come back here. So for safety reasons, huh? all fire exit supposed to be one way only and safety reasons. You will notice that uh, the design uh, is nothing special. <laughs> I can tell you there's nothing special. I mean, actually the corridor is a bit dark. Okay, I think there's one more light not open. Not on, sorry. Uh, and basically it's also raining out there, so it's a bit dark. It's a bit dim, the corridor. But you know what? It's actually wide enough for everything to go through. Let's just say you want to do any renovation. You actually don't need to do renovation. You already bought this fully furnished. So now I'm at a unit. This unit size is 636 square feet. All units are, all units come with fully furnished. So remember, as I initially said, this is actually built as a hotel. So everything comes fully furnished. So let's take a look at the unit. When you come in, right, they will be provided with this digital lock set. This digital lock set, you have four ways to open. Just now I showed you is when you need, when you come in, you need to set your passcode. So there's Passcode, okay, you have to enter your passcode, then the next one you can tap your card, tap a card, next one is the buy the key, there's a key here, key hole here, that you need to put in the key, and be careful not to lose the key, eh? if you lose the key, you will need to have a special vendor to make it, because the key is a special key, eh? don't lose the key, and one more, last one is actually this, <laughs> Heard that? So cool, right? <laughs> okay, here's the unit. Yeah, I need when you come in, right? You need to clean this up. So immediately when you come in, on the right side is the bathroom. Look at that. It's a full body mirror. Beautiful. And sanitary wear. So so American standard. Okay, this one is the bathroom. Come with a screen water heater, uh, bidet. So actually, it's uh, everything you just walk in. Uh. Okay, this one is the one that I actually like. Can you see this? <laughs> the design is really like hotel, where you can put all your towels, uh, everything here. Only thing that's missing is a bathtub, but well, <laughs> you can't fit like 600 over square feet, you expect a bathtub, right? So it's okay, it's good enough to stay actually. Uh, this is a full length mirror for you to freshen up. So coming on the right is actually the kitchen. Kitchen, there is the washing machine, oven, and also the hood and hop, kitchen hood and kitchen hop, kitchen hood and hop, cabinet. These are fully furnished, right? So it's everything here you see is given. So coffee table, sofa, Mattress, wardrobe, ah, wardrobe inside here actually got light. Man. Uh, yeah, there. Inside here got light. And the pillow down there. See, pillow given. Okay, let's go. Uh, that is a 55 inch TV. So, guys, if you want to have a PlayStation night with your friends, you know, your girlfriends give you the visa or your wife approve your visa, come here, bring your PlayStation or come here, watch football, the whole of you just rent one Airbnb. Manchester United versus Liverpool or something, you know? Watch here. You can make noise as much as you want. <laughs> it's a commercial building, but hopefully you guys can control lah. Okay? You can watch football or girls. You wanna have your what pillow pillow talk? Ah? Why not just rent out rent this place for one night? Have a birthday party, a hands party or what? You know? Then you can just sleep over. That's what you can do. That is what I will actually rent out anyway for Airbnb. Or if you want to come here, let's just say there's a lot of uh, international schools here. So you want to come here, right? You want to visit. 
you can also rent this place. You don't have to rent the whole night. Lah. There's a lot of units will be for Airbnb. And also some of the units, they will be a long-term stay. Okay, so that is the fridge. The wardrobe is here. Eh? I, let me bring behind and see the wardrobe. Wardrobe is here. There are two icons, one here and the other one here. Okay, and the icons, right? No need remote, ah, because can you see there? That's the that's the icon already. And there's two bed side table. Lah. This is your dressing table. It comes with a chair and also the full length mirror. And this is the million dollar view. This is the view uh, that people will be crazy about. You can see the big four here, lah. the Twin Towers, the Marriott KL, TRX, and the other one, I'm only 118, I think so. So, and you go to the right side, right? It's the icon side. This also has a key, ah. they have a key. So there's two icons here, easy to use to service. And you see down there, there's also a floor trap for all the water lah, come down. It's very nicely done, lah. see, well thought of. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you have kids, right, and you come here and stay, uh, this, is a good, this is a feature you must know. Okay, you can actually lock this window so that whatever it is, you carry kids or what, you're scared they climb here and there. Uh, this is always a good idea uh, to lock. Okay, there's two facing. Uh. One is facing the KLCC side, the other one is facing the Mong Kera side. So for this facing KLCC side, you will get unobstructed view because you see, there is also the police station. There's a police station for the Sasuya Tamas. And along there here, you see all these are developed. There is no, no land, no empty land except for that one there. I'm not sure what is that, but it looks like there's no empty land. And can you see the car park there? Okay. I think that one, that car park, right, is already acquired by Sunway. Y and H sold to Sunway. So they definitely will develop that, that place. See that car park there? Here. Uh, but I, I'm not sure when they were launched. Lah. But launch also, you know, lah, the price going to be... <laughs> nah, they're not see also. Okay. So let me just zoom it out. Huh? This is the view. Imagine the night sky view. Huh? So we have the Twin Towers, KR Tower, TRX, and Manara 118. Okay, beautiful. Let's look at the accessibility. Okay, so since I'm up here, I'm going to show you the highways. This this side, you will go to PJ. This is going to Mi Valley. This one, this the other way, you go up to Wang Samaju there, uh, the Stapa, all this uh, Gombak area, MR2. Uh. So opposite is Sri Hatamas. We are in Desa Sri Hatamas, okay? Desa Sri Hatamas is a small place that is sandwiched in between Sri Hatamas and also Mong Kiara. It is, a lot of people will know it as Mong Kiara. Lah. So you can see this road here, this road here, it's a, the most busy one. There's a lot of cars going up and down passing this highway. So this part road will come in and you can't go down all the way. You can turn right. You straight away turn right, right, you reach society. So it's very accessible. Even you are a visitor or even you are staying here. And well, most of us that is staying here and the people that is renting here for Airbnb, they won't have their own car. However, you can always recommend your friends to come. Your expat friends, for example. They want to come here and visit you, right? Rent an Airbnb here. Okay? Rent an Airbnb here. Rent how many per night. Then you can go out, eat eateries later. I'll show you the eateries. It's very convenient. So this is, after you have visited, right? You can come home this way. Go out to KL. Or you can, you see this car here that is waiting at traffic light. You can turn, turn right back to PJ. Or if you just stay opposite, right? Go straight. Oh. Turn right turn left up to you so it's uh, the location here is superb like, in terms of accessibility there's this lock right there's another safety feature that you all should know about you see this this lock only the person inside can lock it like. but once you lock this you cannot open at all only the person inside can open 
okay even if you lock this you can you see this lock here this lock here also key can open uh. key can open but this you got key all cannot open only the person outside inside the house inside the house only can open so this a uh, safety feature lah. so you are given two types of access card one this one is for the mail room and also the door this is for the door okay the parking you have to use an RFID cute right looks so posh <laughs>
1.2 meter is 120 cm. Okay lah, I can stand actually. <laughs> Most adults can stand lah. Okay, so the landscaping. And this is the lazy chair, just to relax, you know. And please bathe before you go into the pool. So if you want to exit to your lift, you have to go through cut right. So let's go to level 30, which has another group of facilities. So this is the facilities available at level 30. Eh? Level 31 is where the one bedroom duplex is. Okay, remember one bedroom duplex. Level 30 got three bedrooms. I'll show you the units. No, I don't think I have a key, so I'll just show you where it is. Let's go. Level 30. Fire exit. And here we are, level 30. Let's go. So right. The monastery going in, that's the gym. The pull up. What? So the checking out the suites are Hisham. Oh yeah. Oh okay. okay. So that's Hisham there, the management. Oh, yeah. So these are the suites here, the three bedders. And you can see that this is required by lock. Uh. It's locked, so you cannot go in. But look at the facilities. Uh. I want to bring you into the gym. I think it's super complete. Uh. Most people don't swim these days, I guess. They like to go to the gym. Let's go. So we even have a meditation retreat. This room, super zen, right? See like the circle there? Very zen. The circle, yeah. So you can just sit down here and do meditation. Uh, and, or yoga, yoga. Actually, you just spread a yoga mat. It's perfect. Go in. Uh, cannot go in. Oh, cannot go in. Never mind. Okay, there's a viewing terrace. I'll take you to the viewing terrace later. But I want to show you this. Actually, I want to show you how big the gym is. I'm standing at the door of the meditation retreat. Eh? You see how big the gym is. Uh, I'm the facilities that we have. Okay, you see this is the. The I'm not sure what is this. I'm not a gym guy. <laughs> okay. So we go to the facilities very complete. Huh? You can see pool, natural pool down, you can chin up. Uh, so, uh, most of this, uh, frankly speaking, I don't know the name, huh? but I know it's very complete. It's a bench, uh, weights, and this one, I'm not sure what is this also. But <laughs> yeah, it's very complete. And they even have uh, this free weights. Okay. So now let's head to the viewing terrace. Huh? Okay, here it is. Look at that. So after your gym, you know, you want to just chill and catch up and talk. You can just sit down here, talk. Ah, that is the, the land. I think that's the one that is. Then I, if, no, the one that sold the summary, is that that? I'm not sure, I think it's below, not this, not this. But uh, look at this, the view uh, from your viewing terrace. This is level 30, I'm at level 30 of the society. You can feel the breeze here. You can feel the breeze. Eh? Just sit down. I just let you enjoy the peace. Okay, so we are done at the gym, right? Now let's give a, go to somewhere else. Ah. Exit. Out. Okay. So that's the, that's the restroom. This is a co-working space, co-working hub. Ah. You can actually go in and ah, let's go and explore the co-working space here. So this place, right, is a hotel, like I mentioned. So that's why everything uh, is created in the hotel way. This one used to be like a business center, okay? But now you can become a co-working space, co-working hub. You can use this as a meeting center. And uh, this is your green screen. This is actually literally a green screen. And 
a place to stay with a green screen, they are tapping in on the creator economy. There's a small site here for content for photography. I think this is a very good place uh, where you can on the light right here. I don't know how where's the switcher, uh, but if you can on the light, I would love to put a mic, uh, mic stand both sides here, and then this uh, is a podcast, you know. Then the camera is where, right where I'm standing, and two mic, and it can be a podcast already. Super simple podcast setup. Okay, one more thing that we can go and see. Actually, behind this gym, right, there is actually a lounge. Let me show you. Here you go. Here's a sky lounge. So there's place for you to actually work. Uh, there's two people working there. So that's better not to disturb them. But you need to rent the place there here. So that's it for the tour of society. Society, I <laughs> really don't know how to pronounce the name. So what I like about this place, location is tip top. A plus plus A, don't know how many A's you want to give. The, it's right at the peak of busyness of Monkera. No, this is the Sasuya Atamas. A lot of people will say this is Monkera. Monkera is like this high. Okay? So the accessibility, even as I'm sitting here as the common man coffee roasters, is the traffic non stop. So visibility, no problem. Rental also is good. A lot of uh, expand market here. The studio units are. Uh, 499 square feet. It's been going around rental is about 3,005. One of them even managed to get 3,005. But the price is 499 is about 2425. I just now I show you was uh, 600 over square feet. That one we are expecting about 3,000 to 3,500 rental. And frankly speaking, this place, if the even the workmanship also, I went to inspect. Uh, hotel quality or massive uh, supposed to hand over to the Somerset uh. if you speak to uh, I spoke to the contractor just now this supposed to hand over to Somerset but in the end the directors the developer decided to sell and you can see the quality of the finishing uh, is really good quality finishing so let's go to the cons at 499 square feet and 600,000 this place uh, is not a place for newbies newbies are uh, Oh, I, I tell you, I don't think you can go in here because the holding power needs to be strong because uh, it, this tournament is quite high and uh, one more thing is that the loan, right? most of you will have a like, commercial property loan which is only 85% uh, if you want 90, yes, some banks do give 90 but most will give 85 because this is a commercial property it's not a residential, okay? which brings me to the second point this is a commercial property if you want to compare, you can compare to properties like Summer Suites in KLCC. This is exactly like that. It's Airbnb ready. It can be done with Airbnb. So there's no such thing as no partition. You can do whatever you want inside the unit. Okay? So this you have to take into account. And finally, since this is a hotel, right? It was built in a hotel. The developer actually did not actually locate any refuse room on every floor. So <laughs> I had to Every one of you, of us, uh, we want to stay. It's meant to be like an overnight stay, a hotel. So the developer didn't include that. But so that's why the rubbish, right? If I want to throw uh, from top uh, high floor, I have to go down to my car park. Car park is from level two to five, I think, for a second. So you have to go to that car park just now, and that's how you throw your rubbish. Uh, so it's a bit inconvenient, uh, but that is the pros and cons. Uh. In terms of a uh, new new thing, new booster is I think it's gonna be an MRT three walking distance from here, but God or don't have it's, it's really doesn't matter because the location itself is a good location. Uh. MRT three is a bonus. Basically if you stay here, you are not you can stay here, you can pay rent so high uh, you don't you don't need an MRT like uh, usually high income and uh, most of the time you take grab or uh, and around here is more for a lot of foreigners uh, to stay here okay okay lah. so i think i just wrap it up i'm more rambling now <laughs> time to enjoy my uh, so this hot chocolate i've ordered see you again this is kenny here from boris always bye bye